everybody. Thank you. Right. Thanks for coming out this morning. Why are we here? Uh, first of all, I wish we had as many customers as we had business. <laughs> this, uh, you know, the uh, city, we talked about the city some time ago, roughly sometime in March, about the opportunity to kind of partner with them to help address a need in the city of Chicago. You know, there are many areas, there's about a half million folks in the city of Chicago that live in areas that are underserved when it comes to grocery stores and grocery store selections. So we kind of said, hey, you know, what can we do? So 62 days ago, we went from concept and thought to what you'll see today during your tour, and that's our first wave at, our first cut at trying to address the food desert situation with expanded grocery. What you'll see today is we're offering more than 200 more items in addition to the staples that we normally offer in all of our Walgreens stores nationwide, milk, eggs, bread. You'll see expansion to those categories as well as new items, some unique to the community. Uh, with me this morning, first of all, I want to thank this group, all of these guys that uh, are with me this morning, is Alderman Bob already. Thank you for being here this morning. My Alderman, Walter Burnett. Thank you for being here, Alderman. Uh, Representative Leo McCord, representing uh, the chief of staff for uh, Alderman Ed Smith, and Jay Roper, who's the uh, president of Chicago Land, I mean Chicago Land uh, Chamber of Commerce, and Peter Hill with Irma. So all these guys will get an opportunity to say a few words to you this morning with regards to.
I want to thank all you and uh, feel ready for allowing me to come on this side of the street. <laughs> from the 27 wards to the second ward. But also I want to uh, congratulate the Department of Planning for having the foresight and doing the research and finding out what are the needs in our community. You know, uh, several years ago, you would only see stores in certain areas, and that's just how it was. And no one thought anything about it, and no one did anything about it. But the city and the mayor had the foresight to find where the deserts were and the shopping deserts were, and they're addressing them. And they had the foresight to speak to people like Walgreens. And as far as I know, Walgreens took the initiative, being one of the first um, grocery chains or chains in the city of Chicago, to take the initiative to do something about it. So I just want to thank Walgreens for recognizing our community one in our neighborhoods. The Walgreens have always been the ones who have not been afraid to go to any neighborhood, no matter where it is or what the economic challenges are in that neighborhood. And they have always been like a, a guiding light for other businesses to come to, a community, come to a community. So I just want to thank Walgreens for all they have done for our community. I think this is great. I live, you know, a couple of, I live about four blocks away from here, but this is a nice little walk a job for me and my wife. I was just telling uh, some folks that I come here and telling Mr. Grant that we come here and get our dog food when we run out of dog food. <laughs> now I think my wife will be sending me here for more things now. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna say thank you to you all in, in, in two ways. Thank you and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give me more honey do stuff. <laughs> but I think this is great. Congratulations to you all, and I wish you all the luck in the world as you continue to do this throughout the city of Chicago. Thank you for listening to the city. Thank you for caring for the people of the city of Chicago. Thank you all very much.